CataractCoach.com. This is the best of Cataract Coach with our expert panelists, Dr. Rosa Bragamili and Dr. Deepinder Dhaliwal. Oh, God, this is a good one. You have to watch this. This is killer. This is amazing. I already tell you, the answer is a fake wound burn. I'll tell you the answer right now. Starting off, we got a resident operating. Where is the needle in the phaco sleeve? Like, not in the middle of the sleeve. The needle is shoved up against the side of the incision. You got a white cataract, barely getting any kind of phaco done, like buzzing a little bit and like kind of still nothing. Okay. And now, just you cook in the it. cornea. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you see in there? It's burning. Whitening. Oof. Oh, there it is. And now that's going to leak like stink the whole case. So I'm actually taking it over here and we're going to do a scrawl tunnel here. So what was, why did it happen? Was it too much power? Not enough fluid flow through the chip? Too dense of a cataract? Retained viscoelastic? Failure to float in the incision? Or all the above? All of the above. Yeah, well, yeah, you didn't cool the tip, right? The phaco, phaco needle is, is um, moving at a high frequency and heats up very rapidly. So you need that fluid flow around it. And you need to establish flow when you go into the eye. If you right. have viscoelastic in there, make sure you're getting fluid exchange. And then that lack of pivoting in the incision is just a killer. Mm -hmm. You're going to burn the cornea in a second with that. So it wasn't too dense of a cataract. It's not really too much power. Well, it's too much power for what you did. If you're, if you're pushing the needle up against the, the cornea, it's like that, that cornea stroma, that's all protein. That cooks like an egg white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then once that happens, you're kind of, you're done here. You're and then, the problem is it's going to leak the whole case. Yeah. Don't try to recycle and use that incision again. It's just going to leak, leak, leak. You need to abandon it and do something else. All right, let's, let's see what we're doing here. And there it is. That's the power. Needles pushed up against the side of the incision. It's not floating within the sleeve. That's why we use these slightly leaky incisions. That's why we have that sleeve. And so there's the burn. So now it's this, uh, how do you close this thing, right? So here's the pre-op, a dense white cataract. And then the post-op, oh, just a hot mess. That's the wrong way to suture, by the way. We'll show you the right way, but that's the wrong way. Now watch this. Experienced surgeon operating. And what will you notice here? So a little bit of FACO. And at the tip, you're going to see smoke, yeah. smoke yeah, sign, yeah, smoke yeah. sign. Now look that's in the sleeve, there's boiling BSS oh. in the sleeve. You're literally boiling the BSS. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh. And unfortunately. That's, that's probably viscoelastic, I think. That the tip is blocked for yeah. sure. You're right. You're mm. absolutely, that's the key issue. And then the surgeon's going to suture this up. There's a 17 diapers of irregular astigmatism for you. Enjoy that. So this is, again, I have a better way of suturing, which I'll show you. But yeah, the key there is, if you see that smoke sign, that's pulverized lens material. It's not being aspirated. So Rose is right. You've got viscoelastic or something blocking the tip, or if you're recycling phaco tips, phaco needles, you may have something in there. So now, we remember this. Get your phaco probe, pinch the thing without the infusion, use your non-dominant hand, and step on the pedal. It'll burn in yeah. one second. So how are you going to close the incision now? Horizontal suture, cross incision, lots and lots of radial sutures, bring conj over it, use glue, call it glaucoma, convert it to a trap. <laughs> that works too. Yeah, we the key a, really is this. Yeah, we have a really smart audience. I tell you, yeah, they've exactly seen all right. these. Yep. Horizontal suture is really the way to do it because yep. you want to bring the roof of the incision down to the floor. Pulling, putting a radial suture to pull it across just doesn't work because the, the cornea is contracted. The tissue is contracted down. It's really going to make it a lot tougher here. Would you do other stuff over? Do you, would you still maybe recover with conj? We'll just see how it is, right? Put the horizontal suture. We'll in. say, see okay, you finally okay. get it kind of watertight, mostly watertight. Would you just, as an extra barrier, pull conj over it? Sure. I mean, if it's, but if it's watertight, you're good. If it's mostly watertight, then it's not good, right? So then, you then put, put some uh, conj So you'd like really side out test it very 100%. Good. Every incision. Oh, even the para. Just take the whole thing. Well, I mean, it's just a routine thing, you, yep. know, you know, without, without the fluorescein, but I, or I check incisions very quickly. So same issue. Here's another fake wound burn. End of the case. Oof. Uh, so same kind of issue here. Ooh, now, what's going to happen here at the end with that extra leaky incision is... Iris Pro. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Now, the good news is, believe it or not, these patients can do okay, but you're looking at leaving sutures in for months and the cornea slowly going back to reasonable after a year. Mm -hmm. After a year here. There's so new technology available 
Like what? That will help prevent wound burns. If oh, yeah. If, Tell if, us. I don't want to put a plug in for anything. Okay, but they're, they're, yeah, there are newer things available. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate that. And the other thing is, before you step on the pedal to position three and get the FACO, make sure you're not hearing ding, ding, ding. Oh, key. That means it's occluded already. Right, right. So you go in, just irrigate, aspirate, just see what's happening. And then, as long as you see that you've established flow, then start FACO. So there's the seal incision, there's that horizontal suture, which really is super important to yeah. bring the roof of the incision down to the floor. That really is a key suture. And a couple of, so here only three sutures required to seal it. And you can see all the fluorescein dye, absolutely it was checked to be, make sure it's 